Oh, it's 7 o'clock for no reason. Woke up at a solid 9 o'clock. That's a record for the weekend. So look a lot in one usually. 12, 34. Now he is back. Alright, we're back. You know what we're doing? Alright, so to say, to, to say, today is December 5th, 2020. Only got a few more Saturdays left in this shit whole year. Thank God. Three. Three or more. Whoever else you want to thank. And, uh, any major announcements on our end? How's mom doing? Um, she's doing pretty good. I haven't talked to her in like a couple of days, so I'll have to call her after this session. But, she's still alive. That's all that matters. She's doing good. Okay, so what are we gonna start with today? It's, eh, it's getting more confusing now. All right, let's go NCAA because we got some active games going on right now, so we'll keep it going with them. And we're currently watching what? I believe it's the Texas Michigan. 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 Did you put the Michigan game on? It was either the Michigan game is on or it was showing a highlight of it, but the highlight was. A guy not getting any yards, so I don't know. <laughs> From the Michigan and who was playing? Yeah, I think Michigan was losing, so. Wait, can I do the NCAA? Of course you can. Uh, where the fuck is Michigan? It's gonna have to be a top somewhere. I don't see Michigan. It should be the left here. Yeah, or the one that already finished, so which is right there. there, Mercer. Mercer, Columbia's the only game that's finished. Ooh. Oh, wait. Are we? Yeah. Thank you for joining. Is this basketball? Wait, this is. This is basketball. Oh, that's my God. Hold on. This is basketball. Hold up. Wait, what? Oh, wait, 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 Technical. Alright, we're good, we're good. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, before we get started, I want to do a huge shout out to my buddy Nick Kohler. Uh, he reached out to me, he started his own business. So, for those of y'all looking for some kind of home decor, interior, exterior home decor, they do metal work. Let me pull up. I don't want to misquote on him. The name of the business is called The Dancing Cactus. He is based out of Corpus. He does free delivery and he does custom work. You send him a picture of your design and he will make it and get it to you. Uh, they are a 100% family ran business. Him and his wife. Uh, his daughter helps out also and so does his mother. Uh, unfortunately, Nick was affected by the COVID so he saw this as a means to help supplement his income uh, as the time passes and he says he's enjoying it so far. Um, right now they are in Schroeder, Texas at a mini market there uh, selling uh, some of their, their products. I've looked at his Facebook, his Facebook, you can go look at it. It is at The Dancing Cactus 2020 or on Facebook it's The Dancing Cactus. Uh, they are responsive on Messenger and everything like that. They do drawings, they have jewelry, they have clothing, they have pottery. Uh, I took some screenshots of some stuff that I don't like going back and forth. It's Michigan. Um, oh, in Ohio State. Ohio State. Yeah, Michigan. Put the stomping down. But Ohio Probably. State's right Okay, there. so. Let's see. Those are. So they run it out of their home. They keep costs low as possible that way. Offer delivery, no extra charge. They do pottery and Talavera special request. And like I said before, anything off a picture that you send them, they can be done in a couple weeks and they guarantee to beat anyone's prices here in town. They're in, next weekend, I believe, they're going to be in Bear Claire Mansion for another one. They're in Shorter, Texas today, like I was saying. Uh, from Corpus Christi, Shorter is about an hour and 45 minutes away. Uh, the main highway, I believe, is like 606 or something like that. Let's see. Let's 
622. So just go down 622 there, shorter, and I'm sure you'll see them. Um, but they set up at a lot of outdoor markets and stuff like that. They've been all over Texas within these last uh, few weeks. If you watch their Facebook feed, it tells you where they're going to be, how long they're going to be out there and everything like that. They mm -hmm. do drones also, mini games. But, um, yeah, some of this, art, this, this metal work is actually pretty neat. Uh, they had a wagon, they've done a bicycle or a more of a of an oversized tricycle. I know Nick from uh, my old field days. So they have outdoor decor, interior decor. Like I said, right now they even have Christmas stuff. So for those of y'all still scrambling around to get some Christmas items, uh, if y'all want to go check them out, like I said, The Dancing Cactus on Facebook. Go hit them up. Like I said, my buddy Nick, I've known him for a long time now. And go see what he got. So, uh, if there's anything else on this next, send me a message and I get it out to these guys. But moving on from that, uh, we got NCAA football. Now, going on schedule. I didn't see this, the Catherine Pope Oh, now I'm already all here. We got four over here. I'm still waiting for that iPod or iPad. See, they don't have the postponement. There they are. Okay, they're like super short. Alright, so starting off, guys, I'm going to do the postponed cancel games. Vanderbilt, Georgia was postponed. Uh, Georgia's ranked 8. Northwestern Minnesota canceled. Uh, Northwestern's ranked at 14. We got Kent State at Miami. Uh, it looks like Miami, Ohio. That game's been canceled. Uh, Maryland Michigan matchup was canceled, but Michigan's playing right now, so I don't see how that works. Michigan, I'm pretty sure it's Michigan State. Yeah, this one's Michigan State. Oh, that's Michigan State. This is Michigan. And Buffalo at Ohio canceled, and University of Houston and SMU, good Texas rivalry. That game's been postponed. So, what up, Louis? What up, Mike? Now, going on live right now. Start that up. Well, should I go to scores now? Uh, go back to scores for a little bit? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Because it's current. And then back to scores. Yeah, after you read the scores. Okay. You know how to read the scores, like, yeah. as far as quarter in time? Yes. All right. I think it's going to take it away for NCAA scores. There's a team that you want to know some information about. Shoot me a comment on Facebook or Instagram, and I'll get it for you. Okay, so um, this is the current game um, going on right now that we are watching. Um, this is Ohio State versus Michigan. Michigan State. Ohio State is beating Michigan. The Ohio State is beating Michigan by twenty-one to zero, and it is eight minutes and thirty seconds in the second quarter. No, left in the second quarter. Left in the second quarter, and um, next we have our. Texas A&M versus Auburn, that, that is halftime right now, just turned. Um, but Texas A&M is barely beating Auburn by four points, 14 to 10. Um, I did also see a highlight of like one of the quarterbacks breaking off like five tackles and then scoring a touchdown. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, next we have Oklahoma and TCU. OSU. Mm -hmm. OSU, uh, Oklahoma State. OSU. Yeah, there's two colleges in Oklahoma. There's OU and OSU, so okay. you can't just say Oklahoma. Okay. Oklahoma, uh, OSU, right? OSU? Okay. OSU versus TCU. A little live uh, update uh, really quick OSU. before you keep going. Justin Fields, he's a quarterback for Ohio State, just went out of their game that's going on right now. 
But I think he's going to come back in right after this play. But he got sacked, and it looks like he hurt his arm. Oh, yep. and he's, he's coming back, back in. in. Mm -hmm. Um, so th that game is one minute and 27, uh, sec 27 seconds left in the second quarter, about to be halftime. Oklahoma, uh, OS OSU, right? OSU. OSU is beating TCU 13 to 9. And next game is West. In Carolina versus North Carolina. Um, North Carolina is putting a Carolina. beating on West <laughs> Carolina, um, 34 to three, and one minute and 36 uh, seconds That's left. That's going to be a game if it keeps going that way. The second uh, quarter. Uh, half, -time. half time of this game. Half time, literally one second left um, in the second quarter. Rice versus Marshall. Rice is beating Marshall. A ten to zero, um, and it is now half time. Uh, Nick, now this we are off to upcoming. Oh, yeah. Three. All right, guys. I'm judging multiple devices here. I don't have a producer, so I gotta do everything here myself. Uh, live, live, right there. Okay, so this is upcoming games at one one o'clock p.m. Uh, Troy versus South at South South Alabama. Um, uh, Bowling Green at Akron. Uh, Akron. Los Akron. Um, Ball State at Central Michigan. Eastern Michigan versus Western Michigan. Uh, that'll be a good one. A uh, little rivalry. The uh, one thirty game. Uh, Sacross. Syracuse. Syracuse uh, versus number two Notre Dame. Um, one thirty at NBC on NBC. Uh, two two o'clock game. UL Monroe versus Arkansas State. Um, then. Then Mich then no rank number six. Florida at Tennessee, two thirty. Uh, the next few games are going to be two thirty. Um, West Virginia at rank number nine, Iowa State. Uh, rank number twelve, Indiana at rank number sixteen, Wisconsin, also at two thirty. Iowa at which is rank nineteen at Illinois. Uh, rank number four, Tulsa at Navy, two thirty as well. And the last two thirty game, Boston College at Virginia, both unranked. Now we're off to the two, three, three o'clock games: Stanford versus Washington, um, Georgia Tech at NC State. Uh, Stanford State. and Washington, number twenty-two, is on Fox at three p.m. Oh yeah. Um. Uh. Number thirteen, BYU at ranked number eighteen, Coastal Carolina, four thirty. Uh, next opinion. next two games are going to be at five o'clock. Um, uh, San Jose State at <laughs> um, Hawaii, um, Florida Atlantic at Georgia Southern. All of those games remain unranked. Um, now off to the six o'clock games. Uh, Florida Atlantic at jo uh, no never mind. Number ranked twenty three Oregon at California, Good. Colorado State. At San Diego State, Colorado at Arizona, uh, rank number three Clemson at Virginia Tech, South Carolina at Kudukrajia, and oh, number one Alabama at LSU. All right, so real quick, guys, the uh, where are we at? Oh yeah, Clemson. So Atlantic and Georgia Southern games on ESPN Plus, Oregon and Cali game that's on ESPN, Colorado State and San Diego State that is going to be on CBS SN. Uh, Colorado and Arizona is FS1. Uh, Clemson and Virginia Tech is going to be on ABC. South Carolina and Kentucky is going to be on the ESPN SEC Network. And Alabama and LSU is going to be on CBS. Oh, please don't get hurt, LSU. You're going to get destroyed. Okay, um, on to 7 o'clock game. Uh, rank number 10, Miami at Duke at AC. ACCN, uh, ESPN. 
Next, we have Baylor uh, versus Oklahoma uh, on Fox Network. Fox, I mean. Um, then we have Fresno State at Nevada. That's an 8 o'clock game on FS1. Is that Fox 1? FS1. 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 And Wyoming versus New Mexico at 9.30 uh, CBSN. CBSSN. Oregon State at Utah, 9.30 as well. That's just on normal uh, ESPN. And last game of the day, or uh, UCLA at Arizona State uh, on FS1. All right. Uh, for games tomorrow, we have Western Kentucky at Charlotte. That's going to be at 11 a.m. on ESPN3. And we also have Washington State versus number 20, USC, and that's at 6.30. So for those last two games we just called, they are tomorrow, ESPN, FS1. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? That's it for the college. Ooh. How you doing, Hayden? I mean, Ooh, um, Ohio State is hopefully going to score. I don't know. Oh, Michigan State has the ball. Oh, oh yeah, never mind. So Michigan State has the ball. It's like yeah, a three-yard line. Three, yeah. But it's on Ohio's three yard line, it looks like. Yeah. Not on their three yard line. So they have a long way to go. And it's already third down. So now we're going to be switching over to. Let's go rugby. Rugby? Yeah, let's do NFL last. Ooh. Let's dive into rugby. So, like usual, No Tomatoes Podcast rugby update is brought to you from Jacob Torres. Oh, and, and quick story, um, Jacob actually barely was able to make this rugby update for us, but he was able to right before, um, he, he, right as he woke up, he started on this, and a uh, big shout out to him, and a big thank you. Yes, he, well. uh, Jacob's actually working in California right now, installing some security systems in uh, cannabis farms, uh, two different... Ca- they score. Safety. Pick six. Oh, pick six. Uh, he's doing security systems, uh, entry access, stuff like that. Two cannabis farms there in California. And so he was going to enjoy his Saturday, but he decided that y'all need y'all's rugby update and I need content. So he woke up early just to do this. So, like Isaiah said, thank you so much, Jacob. I'm still doing the accents, but I'm going to let um, my father do the reading because I just did them and make it fair here. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the followers. He gets the followers. He gets the followers, I got the looks. Okay, okay. That's a lie. You're lying. I get everything. You got everything because I got it. All right, Guinness Pro 14, round eight results. Bennington 19, Dragons 26. Cardiff 10, Glasgow 19. So we got Edinburgh and Ulster. Ulster put a beating down 43 to 14. And Munster versus Zebra Rugby. Unfortunately, Zebra Rugby is going home with a loss. 52 to 3. Munster came out shooting. Yes, I'm good. So the standings for this one, as of now in conference. A. A. There it goes. All right, Conference A, Ulster is 8-0 with 38 points. Leinster is 7-0 with 35 points. We got Ospreys 3-4 with 13 points. Uh, Glasgow is 2-5 with 9 points. Uh, Dragons ranked 5th with 2-3 at 9 points. And number 6, Ever Rugby, is 1-7 with 5 points. Bringing up, up Conference B, leading them is Monster, 7-0 with 32 points. Uh, con- number two, Canuck, four and two with zero points. I'm thinking that may have been a four. Or maybe a three. I think that's a three. Uh, we have a typo here, guys. It's probably 30 because the W and three are side by side. Oh, oh my God, the battery on the thing is going to die. We got time. Yeah. good. All right. Uh, yeah, so Scarlets are 3 and 4 with 16 points. Number 4, Cardiff Blues is 3 and 5 with 14 points. Uh, Edinburgh is 2 and 5 with 10 points. And Bennington is 0 and 7 with 3 points. 
Round nine. Right now, round ugh. round nine will not pick up until December 26th due to the European Champions and Heineken Challenge Cup starting on the 11th. You can catch these on ESPN Plus app. So if you have it, go check them out. ESPN Plus, any mobile device, TVs, uh, PS4s, Xboxes, Blu-ray players, laptops, all available for the ESPN Plus. Gallagher Premiership, round two results. We got the Newcastle Falcons versus Sale Sharks. Falcons came up on top, 15 to 13. Northampton Saints versus the Harlequins, 29 to 49. Me and Isaiah picked a team yesterday or last week, uh, not based off anything except for the mascot, and we picked the Harlequins, so our team won uh, 49 to 29. Where did that picture? Bristol Bears, Jacob's favorite team. Took on the Warshire Warriors. At 30-13, Bristol Bears took the dub in that one. Gloucester Rugby versus the Wasps. 40-24, Rugby came up on top. Exeter Chiefs versus Bath Rugby. 40-3, Bath Rugby. Unfortunately, is going home very, very defeated. Uh, London Irish versus Leicester Tigers. 22-9, the Irish came up on top. I guess no matter what team it is, the Irish keep on fighting. Standings for this one. Exeter Chiefs, 2-0 with 10 points. We got Bristol, 2-1 with 10 points. Newcastle, 2-0 with 8 points. The Sharks, 1-1. Ooh, yeah. uh, excuse me, guys. Points. I woke up at 7.30 for an off day. I woke up at 7.30, so where am I at? So six. Sharks, 1-1, 6 points. London Irish, 1-1 with 5 points. We got the Leinster Tigers there, 1-1 with 5 points also. The Oscars one on one with five points. Harley Quinn's one on one with five points. Four way tie. Wasp one on one with five points. No, five way tie. Oh, and then we got Worcester one on one with four points. Uh, Northampton is 0 3 with two points. And Bath Rugby is 0 2 with one point. So, round three starting on December 4th, which was yesterday. Bristol versus Northampton, 18 to 17, very hard fought game. Bristol came out on top with that one point being the deciding factor. Uh, December 5th, which is today, going on right now. We got Leicester 13, Exeter 14. That game's still going on right now. It may have finished. Uh, Jacob sent me these about an hour or two ago. Um, waiting for everything to get set up, the stage or our studio and stuff like that. Put us a little behind schedule. Me. Uh, Wasp and Newcastle were going on at the time of the update. Wasp were down 5 to 24. Uh, Worcester and Bath were going on. Bath was winning 21 to 3. And tomorrow, London Irish is taking on the Sale Sharks at 8:30 a.m. and Gloucester versus the Harley Queens at 10:15 a.m. I should have. Oh, I'm reading this one. Automations. Fiji has returned. Yay. They finally tested negative and are able to play in the playoff rounds of the Autumn Nations Cup. Round three results. Wales versus England, 24 to 13. England comes out with the W. Ireland versus Georgia. Ireland beats Georgia 23 to 10. Scotland. Scotland versus Fiji 28 to 0. But that was cancer? That was canceled. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you for, if you're not able to play, then you get 28 points other automatically. Yeah, other team. So Scotland won by a forfeit, and France versus Italy, 36 to five. France coming out on top. Oh boy, if I say so myself. <laughs> Pool A, it, England is 3-0, 13 points. Ireland, 2-1, uh, 8 points. Wales, number 3, Wales, 1-2, 4 points. And number 4, last place in Pool A, 0-4, 0 points. Pool A, uh, uh, from and Scotland with 2-1, 11 points. And Italy. Uh, one and two, five points. Uh, number four, Fiji, one and three, five points. And now we're off to the playoffs. December 5th, which is today, seven and eighth place playoff. Georgia versus Fiji. 
38 to 24, that uh, Fiji won. Um, and fifth and sixth place playoffs, uh, Wales. Has, uh, Wales uh, versus Italy. It was 0 0 live, but I think it might have ended. Uh, might have had to look that up. But uh, third and fourth um, place playoff, Ireland 31. <gasps> Scotland lost. <sighs> I can't believe it. I'm going to have to use a new action now. Okay, but 31 to 16, uh, Ireland beat Scotland. And this is tomorrow, uh, December, the first and second place playoff, England versus France at 8 a.m. You can watch these events in two different ways, like usual. Uh, Flow Sports membership or watch them for free on YouTube after they are finished. All right, guys, that is it for the... December 5th Rugby Update brought to you by No Tomatoes, brought to us by Jacob Torres. Thank you, Jacob, very much. Thank you very much. Wait. Now, for what most of y'all are here for, you know, sluts. No Tomatoes Sports Saturday, main reason we started doing this, because uh, it happened to be football season. Uh, we are going to be carrying this off into the NBA and every sport that comes up for the next Saturdays as long as possible. Um, with that being said, it is December 5th and we had a Monday night game. Monday, we had the Seahawks and the Eagles. So they played on 11-30, 11-30-20. Seahawks took the W 23-17. Way uh, better next, game than we were expecting. Yeah, that was a way better game. Um, but Russell is Russell. And, and Carson Wentz is not playing good at all. Yeah, Garbage. he's having issues. Um, some blame his team, some blame him. But I think if both do better, they in turn help each other. And it's kind of hard with... Carson Wentz throwing interceptions or fumbling, not being able to scramble because his line's not blocking and his line's not really feeling too good about him in the situation on throwing interceptions, fumbling, and not scrambling. So you have them basically trying to, they're not necessarily fighting each other, but what it is is they don't see as each other helping, so one is not trying to do for the other and it's causing a collapse in the team, I believe. Uh, this next one is going to sound odd, but I swear I'm not making this up. We had a game on Wednesday. Yes, I know. We had football on Wednesday. So, somehow miraculously, unlike Denver, Ravens were able to get their game postponed three different times. So, yeah. Whatever that has to do with, not sure. But, uh, Ravens got it postponed that many times. And still lost? And still lost. They didn't have Lamar Jackson. Not an excuse. And while the Steelers are doing the running game in the locker room. So it was the Seahawks, or it was, I'm sorry, Wednesday the 2nd, the Ravens versus the Steelers. Even with them not having Lamar Jackson, they put up 14 points to the undefeated Steelers, 19 points. It was 19 to 7, and then, like, the, not the last drive, but the second to last drive, the Ravens ended up scoring. Yes. But it still wasn't enough to. So, so Steelers, I believe, are nine, ten and oh? Nine and oh. What we call them? Ten and oh. They are ten and oh. Or even eleven and oh. One of them. I think they might be eleven and oh. They're undefeated. That's all that matters. So, there's a strong chance that they are going to be going pretty far in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So, upcoming, starting. Mañana. TJ Watt for the Steelers is really, really wrecking shot. Does Denver right still even have a team? Yes, Danny Denver has a team. Hey, you do not say that about my Broncos. It's Danny, Big Danny, Harbor. From Victoria and Let you off the hook. He said he's going to let you off the hook. Only because you're 6'9". That dude is 6'9". If not taller. Alright, so starting with tomorrow. 11-0. Yeah, see? 
Hey, I had a taco this morning. I had a couple of tacos this morning, actually. So, uh, you want to go kick it off? Yeah, let's see. So, this is the noon games, 12 p.m. The Saints versus the Falcons. That's a, that's a rivalry right there. Uh, Same division. Extremely beautiful color schemes. Saints, I'm still going to have Drew Brees. So, we'll see. Taysom Hill. Probably wreck shot against the Falcons defense. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. Hopefully it's a good game. I like good games around here. Yeah, the Falcons, the, the main thing that's been happening with them is they're just not holding on to that lead. They, they are dying off too soon. I mean, they have a great team. I mean, they're they're taking out some some great teams, but they just well, goodbye, Danny. can't maintain. Got to go have a good one. Later, Danny. So the Lions versus the Bears. Um, let's see. The Bears have a really good defense, so we'll see how the Lions. Lions are going to get destroyed. Sadly. Lions are going to get destroyed. You heard it here first. Hi, Rod. Um, so the Browns versus the Titans. Hmm. See, I don't think the Browns have been playing too bad, actually. Yeah, they've been playing actually. But yeah. the Titans are a really good team. Yeah, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry cannot be stopped. So I would, I would put my money on the Titans if I'm betting. Well, Dad, yeah. you were right. The second we started doing the NFL, we got our we got our viewers back. Like, hey, if y'all guys are watching right now, all uh, five of y'all, we're breaking records today. We got five. <laughs> Woo! It's all right. Instagram, we got one. Gotta start somewhere. And it's because I'm watching us. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm my only view. So then now we got Bengals versus the Dolphins. Ooh. A battle of the garbage. <laughs> no. We'll see how it is. I would like to see how it's Tua will It's trash go. versus recycle. We'll see how Tua plays. That's my main Oh, it's a, ba- it's a battle of the rookies. A battle of the rookie no, quarterbacks. No, Joe Burrow is injured. Sadly. Yeah, Joe oh, Burrow. yeah. He's out for the year. He's out, out. Maybe even some of next year. Oh, yeah. You see Beckham's already out fucking taking passes on the field? I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. Who has a 18 inch freaking scar on his leg? From what? He tore his uh, uh, ACL. ACL? Okay. Yeah. So then now the Jaguars versus the Vikings. That should be pretty good. I, I see it being a decent game, I guess. I like to see the Vikings lose, but that's just me. And then the Raiders versus the Jets. Well, let's see. I'll be rooting for the Jets on this one. Hopefully they can actually get a win this season. Oh, sorry. I don't really like seeing teams go 0-16 for the whole season unless they're... Yeah, I would like to see them win, but I don't think they're going to do it against the Raiders. Me neither. The only team I like seeing going 0-16 is the Cowboys. We so. <laughs> won't really see that, though. Um... Colts versus Texans. Oh. Let's see. Texans played really good the last time I seen them play. Yeah, they did. Uh, yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. And then Colts lost their game, too. And then they lost to... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Whoever they played. Who did they play? I said whoever they played. Yeah, whoever they played. The Colts lost last time. So the Colts... You have to try to fight back and get a win, or the Texans have to stay on their hot streak. See if JJ Walker gets Or did the Texans still lose, though, that game, but they're playing really good? No, they won. No, the they won. Game. Yeah. It was yeah. Thanksgiving game. So then the Rams versus the Cardinals at 305. That should be a really good game, too. I don't know if I'm watching that game at all. Yeah, that should be good. Around the Cardinals? Yeah. Uh, I like the it. Giants and the Seahawks. We'll see how. Oh, wait. Hmm. Daniel Jones was hurt last game, but I think he stayed yeah. in and kept playing. So we'll have to yeah, see yeah. if he plays this game. But the Seahawks most likely will come out on that top w. Yeah. So I said, you want to get some 325 games in? Ooh! 325 games. Eagles versus Packers. Didn't we already go over the Eagles? Oh, no, that was last week. Um. Well, technically it was on uh, Monday. Monday. Yeah. So then, well, actually, I really have nothing to say other than the Packers are going to win. 
and Aaron Rodgers is going to carry as always. Next game, Patriots versus the Chargers. Oh, yes, yes, the Chargers will lose. Yes, even though it may be by the Patriots, at least the Chargers are going. Now we're off the Patriots aren't seven. so good, so I don't have to exactly say that, but we'll see how Justin Herbert plays. Ooh, let me say my own team. 720 game, Sunday Night Football. Broncos versus the Chiefs. Now you may be thinking, this boy doesn't know what he's talking about. The Broncos are going to get demolished. No. No. I tell you not. They will beat the Chiefs. They will beat a team in their division this year. They will. Trust me. They will. They I, I don't care if I have to break into one of the players' houses and tell them to play. They will win. They have to. Because I cannot be the laughing stock of the football fans in my school. Like, I need them to win. Seriously. Please. That's all I gotta say. You hear that? Miller, suit up. You're going in. Oh hey, he's wearing a jersey too. Yeah, I'm wearing a jersey. Send me a sticker of your autograph. Come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, Monday night at 4 p.m. We actually have two games on Monday. 4 p.m. Washington versus the Steelers. <sighs> Washington's been okay, but if the Steelers play like they played three weeks ago, Steelers are gonna win. The last two games, Steelers really haven't been doing that good. Well, last week, I mean, they went 14 and 19. To the Ravens without their starting quarterback, and then uh, the Cowboys gave them a run for the money. So we get the Steelers to play like they did in the beginning of the season, then I believe they're gonna walk all over Washington. I don't think anyone's gonna disagree about that. You got some disagree about that? No. Nope. Even though I do. But like they need to play like they did in the beginning of the season, not the second half of the season so far. And they seriously need to start doing warmups instead of just doing them off every every day before the game. <laughs> Uh, so this game two for that Monday night, uh, December 7th, is at 7.15. It's going to be the Bills and the 49ers. 49ers, didn't they actually win? Yeah, that's it. I don't know. I don't think so. I think they or actually they played the Jets. Oh, no, you know what it was? I don't know what it was. Oh, uh, they played I the saw, Jets, yes. I saw my buddy's uh, conference ring uh, for 2019 on mm -hmm. Facebook. So that's what made me bring up there, 49ers. Mm -hmm. So shout out to my buddy Joe Gonzalez. Yes, sir. What's up, Derek? I think the Bills will come on top. Mm -hmm. Bills, Bills are looking really good. Yeah, they have a really good defense and a pretty good offense with Josh Allen. Yeah, Josh Cole Allen is coming in. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. What's up, man? And Derek, who's your team? You got your Cowboys fan, ain't you, Derek? Now we got another Tuesday game. What's 2020 has been a weird year. And oh, yeah, so on a Tuesday. So they actually had to move this game versus the Cowboys and the Ravens, which is Tuesday at 7.05, because they moved the Ravens game so many times. Yes, sir, Cowboys. So you think you got to get the Ravens there, Derek? Big dub. Can you get it? Yep. My brother says, yeah, you can tell by his jersey. What do you think, Derek? Can't see my jersey. Can't see mine. I'm just like, like one of black. Literally. Looks like you're an empty void. Yeah, that's it. I am the black hole of this. Um, yeah, so if the Raven, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so I like the optimism here. We're actually getting some interaction over on Instagram for once, guys. I like it. Um, yeah, so the Ravens game was supposed to be played Thanksgiving when they played the Steelers. They got postponed from that Thursday to Sunday to Monday, and then from the Monday to Tuesday and Tuesday to Wednesday. Uh, the Denver game, the reason I brought it up is because both, all four of the quarterbacks actually had to be isolated for a possible, what would you call it, uh, positive contact, hey deck, <laughs> uh, for positive contact, so what it was, was there was a chance that they were in contact with someone who had tested positive for COVID, and they actually had to bring up a wide receiver from their practice squad to be their starting quarterback who had never taken a snap 
all season because he's on the practice squad and he's also a receiver. Um, they tried to get the NFL to postpone the game, but it wasn't considered a outbreak. It was a potential outbreak. If they had came back tested positive, then they would have postponed the game. But since it was a possible outbreak and they hadn't had results back, that's why that game apparently didn't get postponed. Now, they moved the game a few times for the Ravens, so there were people NFL-wise that were upset saying that it should have been moved due to the fact that they had no one starting. Um, every other team usually does have a backup, and for some reason, they are not associated with all the other players that are having breakouts. I mean, to me, if one player got it, you should isolate the whole team. But, I mean, that's, that's how households are, are done. That's how work is. I mean, if you work with someone and, and they get tested positive, you have to isolate until your test results come back. So I don't, I don't see what's going on. Uh, NFL, I think, has been doing. I appreciate them coming back, but for all these players getting sick and stuff like that, they're slacking somewhere. I don't know where it is. But if all these players still getting sick, and they're going through all these precautions and everything like that. They have no fans, no nothing. They're around the same people every day. So obviously, they're either breaking their protocol themselves or they're not sticking to their sterilization programs because, I mean, it is pretty fucking ridiculous. They're going to the clubs. Yeah, they're going out. They're doing something. They're, they're having the club come to them. They're making it rain. It's going to be the shittiest season for them to spend money anyways. They're not getting their jersey sales aren't going up, the ticket prices, everything like that. I mean, there's... They make enough money. They, they make enough, but they're not going to make as much as they normally would due to all this. Yeah, but, look, yeah. I'm, I'm you look like a conehead. I'm, I'm the cook, Francis. Y'all see this guy? Uh, the bye weeks for this week, guys, is Buccaneers and the Panthers. So, if you're looking forward to watching them play, this is not the week for you to watch them play. And we are finished. We are, wait, wait, we have 45. Let's do some quick updates over here. Uh, the rule they used to not cancel was BS, man. Should be fair across the board. They literally didn't have a chance without any quarterback coffee. Yes, sir. That is 100% true. In my book, even though I, I would feel the same way no matter what team it was. Uh, obviously, it says Denver. It's a little more sentimental to me. Um... But, I mean, it is what it is. The NFL, they're looking at it from a money standpoint. They probably figured they weren't going to make the money off of it if they postponed that game, so they might as well just get it there. And more people are going to watch the Ravens versus the Steelers than the Broncos and Saints. Unfortunately, it's sad, but Saints have a good, a good backing. I mean, I know a lot of people here in Texas that like the Saints. But, I mean, I'll take the ass whooping. It was like 31-3. to It is what it is. We're working. We have a young quarterback. We still have a very young squad. So we can only get better. I'll take the shitty seasons just to have a good season. The way it's looking, I think we actually play Cowboys next season. So let's hope for that. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I thought it was every once in five years. It's been a while. I know it's been. Oh, yeah. Almost. Remember that, Cowboys fans? Whooped y'all. 42 17. Yeah. Get right. There we go, guys. Drop back later. Get back to work. All right, take it easy, Derek, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for showing some love, man. Oh, my goodness. It's Roblox guy. So, real quick, we're going to jump over to some NBA news, guys. This is for Saturdays. This isn't just about NFL football or NCAA football or rugby. So, I'm pretty sure the biggest headline going on right now is the trade with Mr. Westbrook. I'm going to take this one over. Yeah, sure. So, Houston and the Washington Wizards have agreed to a trade with Westbrook and John Wall. John Wall has been on the Wizards since he's been drafted. He got drafted to the Wizards. And, and it's kind of, I, I find it a little weird because I think they're really the same point guard. Both are going to average a triple double, or a triple double. Not both are going to average a triple double, but... John Wall's going to be having the most rebounds, one of the highest assists when he's playing. He hasn't played for two years either because injuries. But I think they're both guys. They're both athletic, fast, and like to dish the ball. So it's weird that they're really trading the same, getting rid of one, getting the same thing back really. But we'll see how it goes. 
think they're both really good on defense also, so we'll see. Yeah, let's see what else uh, um, trade machine. Let's see what this is. Cowboys winning next season, <laughs> and then he left. <laughs> uh, no, I'm trying to look for just quick little updates for y'all guys before we hit this uh, one hour mark. Let's see, draft team standings home. Let's see what home is. So injury history makes you long. Oh yeah, so Anthony Davis, I saw him in the news. I see he's getting actually a very big deal coming from the Lakers. I also what I heard about that too is that he wants a long term deal due to injury history. That's what it was. So I saw I misspoke there. Says he wanted a long term deal due to his injury, meaning basically don't let his injury fool you that he's still gonna be able to put in the same amount of years with them due to the injury. And there's see. a thing that I've seen that um, he's kind of holding off on his big deal to see if they could maybe potentially, I don't think it's going to happen, but bring Giannis onto the Lakers. Ooh. I don't see that happening at all, but I, NBA is like really, dumb. no, it's not dumb. It's just a really weird, I didn't see Durant going to the Warriors, Durant went to the Warriors, so. No, you can't, you can't expect it. You can't ex it's surprising, I guess. I can't really figure out the word that I'm trying to use. Uh, KD is going to go to the Warriors in February because the schedule was released. So we'll see how that turns out. Yeah, uh, I would like to see KD and Kyrie on the same team. Ooh, yeah. i like to see how that goes. I know they're really good friends, so hopefully that is a run of friendship. Because they're both... With Sensei on the same team? Yeah. They're both winners and want to be... They have that mentality. Yeah. But I can't find any other news guys coming up with Bailey Bas Basketball. <laughs> basketball. It's a good movie. Go watch it. Go watch um, Bas Basketball. I know Montrez Harrell got signed to the Lakers. Um, Danny Green and someone else from the Lakers. Got traded to. I don't know. I'm not sure actually. The Melo says he committed to a bench row right now. Alright. Um, I think that's just about it. Oh, yeah, and Adebayo got signed to a big money deal to yeah. the Heat. Which mm -hmm. is a really good. I like Adebayo. He's trying to change Ooh, basketball, he says. Tim Tebow. The Broncos had Tim Tebow. They wouldn't have had a bad year this year. No. They would all got. He'll figure it out. <laughs> there you go, right there. Pierce is intrigued by oh, KD versus Giannis matchup. Spiders with no guys. You know what that means. We gotta go. We're running out of time. Both on, well, mostly on Instagram. So I like to keep everything short. I don't want Instagram to miss out on anything. Uh, remember today is December 5th, 2020, guys. You got a few more weeks. All right, we got 26 more days left in the month till this year is over. Uh, let's hope a lot of things go out the door with the year following it behind. Uh, love each other. Be nice. Slow down. Wear your seatbelt. Don't drink and drive. Uh, Uber. Um... Don't pour your your milk in before your cereal, or yeah. I will come to your house and find you. Um, Word. Go Broncos. Uh, um, that's all I have. Mm, be safe. The holiday season. Um, COVID's out. Just be safe, and hopefully, we had to deal with this year to make next year way better. Yeah, uh, don't go visit your grandma. Just tell her to put the stuff on the porch. Tell her to get her ass inside and then go and get the leftovers. And if your grandma does have any leftovers, you better bring some to us over here and we'll eat them right here on the show. Also, don't forget the Dancing Cactus. Go check them out on Facebook, guys. Good friend of mine. The Dancing Cactus on Facebook. Metalwork, pottery, uh, clothing, boutiques, 
They got it all, guys. Throw him up. Hope everyone has a good weekend. Peace. 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 What do you always do to say? Peace. 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 Oh, shit. My phone's up there. I'm over here. <laughs> You trying to end it on your phone? I'm trying to end it on the other phone. Peace.